ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದುಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರ್ವಶ್ಚ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚ ಲಂಗ ಪಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತ್ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವೀ ಸತ್ವತ್ವಯಿ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದರು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನುತ ಸರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪುನತು ಬಾಲ್ಯಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಿಮಿ ಗೋವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿಕಾಮಯಿ ಕಾಖಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲ ಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಯುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜಸ್ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀದ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ
नैतात्मनो मे तब कथासु वैकुंठनाथ संप्रीयते दुरीत दुष्ट मशादुतीव्र कामातूर हर्षशोक भयशनाथ तस्मिन् कथम तब गति विमिश्रादीन नैतात्मनो मे तब कथासु वैकुंठनाथ संप्रीयते दुरीत दुष्ट मशादुतीव्र कामातूर हर्ष कामातूर हर्षशोक भयशनाथ तस्मिन् कथम तब गति विमिश्रादीन तस्मिन् कथम तब गति विमिश्रादीन गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पोपा परमंस तो जगदगुरु टोल डोंट ट्राई टू इंट्रोड्यूस इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड डोंट ट्राई टू गेट इन्वॉल्व इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड ऑलवेज ट्राई टू थिंक अबाउट योर ओरिजिनल स्वरूप गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पोपा परमांश जगदगुरु टोल डोंट ट्राई टू गेट इन्वॉल्व इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड डोंट ट्राई टू गेट इन्वॉल्व इन दिस वर्ल्ड डोंट ट्राई टू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ इन इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड ऑलवेज ट्राई टू बी वेरी केयरफुल डोंट ट्राई टू गेट इन्वॉल्व इफ यू गेट इन्वॉल्व देन यू कैन डेवलप अटैचमेंट एंड इफ यू डेवलप अटैचमेंट देर इज इट इज impossible for you to get free from this material clutcher it become impossible to get free from this material clutcher big problem that's why prabhu was speaking while we are living in this material world we are living in this material world well we are living in this material world so it is quite natural we are living in this material world while living in this material world we will have to exchange with human beings is quite natural how we can avoid human dealings is a must Papa speaking don't try to get involved in this material world but human dealings is a must how we can avoid human dealings that is a question well human dealings cannot be avoided we cannot avoid human dealings but still we can change the mood of human dealings that we can do because we know from upadeshamrito ददाति प्रतिगिन्नाति पृछति गुह्यमाख्याति भुंक्ते भयति चैव सर्वीद प्रतिलक्षणम वक्तव्य टक स्पीकिंग इफ यू आर गोइंग टू एक्सचेंज योर लाभ देन यू आर गोइंग टू पुट योर सेल्फ इन ट्रैवल इफ देयर इज नो एक्सचेंज ऑफ लाभ आई एम गोइंग टू मार्केट आई एम गोइंग हियर एंड देयर आई विल हैव टू लीव ना so dealings is a must but if i can do without any attachment not from heart material relationship i will have to keep otherwise how i can live this way if i can avoid material relationship from heart but externally i am bound to do in that case no question of any attachment can come in that case no question of attachment can come sila bhakti siddhanto saraswati goswami thakur pahupa paramahansa jagat guru repeatedly speaking without taking shelter of a prakita sabda brahma there is no other way no alternative way we cannot go out of this material world no possible 
without taking shelter of that aprakita sabda brahma there is no other way alternative way yesterday i was discussing about sabda brahma para brahma which is the excellent kripa of chaitanya mahaprabhu to indicate us about the sabda brahma para brahma bachyo bachak i was discussing yesterday and we should remember shabda brahma is the infinity ocean ananta param kila shabda shastram ananta param kila shabda shastram shabda shastra infinity our tiny brain our limited capacity how far how much we can go that is a main question so if we try to search all shastra everything to get the cream it is not possible for me is not possible because i am my brain is contaminated heart contaminated capacity also limited body not good mind so i will have to depend upon sauta pantha that i told mahaprabhu always wanted to indicate we we'll have to depend upon sauta pantha whatever indication instruction our guru varga giving we we'll have to follow in toto mane without any fault without any doubt that we we'll have to follow no other way if we are going to start argument why should i do in that case we can fall down because in gita it is written sanshay atma vinashati if i express doubt about prabhupad bhakti mr thakur our guru varga sanshay atma vinashati we can fall down we cannot come out such that's why we will have to depend only upon the sauta pantha in the beginning you will have to keep faith not argument because in the beginning suppose i can give one example suppose you are a very small boy four years boy five years boy now your father going to start your education in saraswati puja day maybe a prakrita saraswati puja or maybe your material saraswati whatever you like according to her. so your father going to invite one pandit so that he can take the pen or pencil and write in a slate follow and speak that you speak it is a it is a follow pandit ji speaking to the small boy you write this way is a b if the small boy if the small boy start argument what is the document this is why should i say this or what is the document is there any document document that i can say this is or is a i am not going to follow you then all your education cannot start someone has to believe preliminary belief should be there that guru vaishnav cannot misguide us with this conception we must start after that gradually if i can go on doing sadhu sangha as per the instruction of chaitanya mahaprabhu and all shastra then we can know so many things about shabda brahma how to guide myself how to know all what to do what not to do then finally i can get maturity through my sadhan bhajan i can get maturity finally i can go out of this material limit and i can enter so prahlad maharaj crying my mind is wicked mind prahlad maharaj speaking my mind is very wicked mind prabhu my mind so wicked that i cannot concentrate my mind in in your hari katha in your topics naitat mano me tav katha su vaikunthanat i mean aprakita shabda brahma pralama speaking same thing vaikunthanath mean vaikunthanath there vaikunthanath there that's mean vaikunta shabda brahma vaikunta shabda bhagwan is there 
not in Bhagavan, is there in transcendental platform, Vaikuntha platform. Shuddha Guru Vaishnava, they are also resting in, in transcendental platform, not in material platform. So where, why, when I am staying in this material platform, how I can reach? Suppose Guru Vishnu is there, or Prakita platform, I am in material platform. So somehow I have to make up my gapping. My effort of bhajan, through my effort of bhajan, I will have to make up my gapping with Guru Vishnu. I will have to make up my gapping, otherwise I cannot reach up to that platform. And if I cannot reach up to that platform, how it is possible for me to serve Gurudeva Bhagavan? Bhagavan is a Prakita platform, I am a material platform. How I can reach? That's why in Archan Paddhati, you can find it is written, Deva Bhutva Devam Archayat. Deva Bhutva, even in material world here, if you like to worship some demigods, you will have to become a demigods. Deva Bhutva Deva Marchayat. Deva Bhutva. If you are not in that platform, you cannot do. So what to about Aprakito Paradevata? Bhagavan Sri Krishna or Aprakito. This we cannot say. So Pralatma is Pralatma speaking. Naitat Manu Mitava Kathasu Vaikunthanatu Sampriyate. I don't like to hear your Harikatha. My mind is very wicked. Durito dushto masadu tiburam. Durito dushto masadu tiburam. Very contaminated. Asadhu, not sadhu. Durito dushto masadu tiburam. Or kama turam. Main contamination, I told. If you take birth three times in a day to clean your clothes and body, that doesn't mean you are, you are pure. That doesn't mean you are pure. Purity can come inside your heart when you are able to remember Supreme Love all the time. All the time. That I told repeatedly. Abhishyati Krishna Padara Vindayor Kshinoti Avadrani Chasang Tanunti Satasya Suddhim Paramat Bhaktim Gyanan Chavigyano Viraga Yuktam Or the usual mantra that day I was speaking. Apavitra Apavitra Vasarva Vasta Gato Viva Jos Pareto Jos Mareto, Pundari Kaksham, Sava Yamtra. Externally and internally you can become pure. If you can remember Bhagavan Guru Vishnu, that is the procedure. Kama Turam, so contamination is Kama. Contamination is my desire, Kama, material Kama, that is called actual contamination. Kama Turam, and sometimes I am laughing. When I am getting some favorable thing, I am crying when I am getting some opposite thing, when I am going to meet with some opposite situation, I think I am, I am already put into danger, I am crying. Actually, happiness, when you are feeling okay, when you are, fe when you are feeling okay, when, when you are feeling okay, when you can see that you are in favorable condition, then you are think it is happiness. Otherwise you can cry. But actually, in the background of past, present and future, in the background of past, present and future, you cannot find any existence of your material happiness and sorrow. In the background of in the background of past, present and future, you cannot find, there is no existence. What you say is very happy, I am very sorry, very happy. It is all material thing, relative thing. All relative thing. What is good for you, that may be bad for me. Follow. What is good for you, that, that is bad for me. What is good for me, maybe that is bad for you. Follow. So man to man it varies. According to their previous sanskar, they can find something favorable, something against them. So you need no Mahaprabhu speaking, you need not pray, play your head over this issue. Point. Main point is that you should concentrate in Aprakita Shabda Brahma, Harikatha Kirtan. 
Kirtanya Sadahari. So in third slog, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking that Trinadopi Sonichana Tarupi Sahishnana Amanina Mano Manodino Kirtanya Sadahari. First point, first point you must be humbler than the bread of grass. That is the first teaching which I mean without which you cannot do Harinam Sankirtan. And you are more forbearing than tree. In Bhajan Rasa Mahaprabhu speaking, when somebody is going to cut a tree, that tree is not going to start agitation. Why you are cutting me? Brikha jano kati leo na kichuna boloi, shukaiya moile kare pani na mangwai, jaija mangwai tare dai apondhon, gharma bishti swahe anir. A tree going to give everything for the benefit of others, not taking anything. The fruits there, the fruits there in the tree, the, the tree not going to eat. That the shadow there, the tree going to bear all, you know, suffer strong sunlight, torrential rain, everything, not going to complain. So somebody can take some leaf. <coughs> somebody can take some leaf. Somebody can take some wood. Somebody can take some fruits. But still, a tree not going to make, put any complaint in front of anybody. Whatever you like, you can. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told us, because you can say, Mahaprabhu is going to advise us to take shelter of Sabda Brahma. So what do you mean by taking shelter of Sabda Brahma? Mean taking shelter of Sabda Brahma mean you will have to practice, na? You will have to take shelter. You have to chant. You have to hear. Taking shelter of Sabda Brahma mean you will have to hear Hari Katha. You will have to speak. You have to do Hari Nam Sankit. This. So without this Sinada Viswanish Mahaprabhu speaking, it is not possible for you to do it. It is not possible for you to do it, so all will be in problem. Yesterday I was speaking that Shabda Brahma and Parabrahma same, and when any Aprakita Shabdo, any Aprakita Shabdo I am speaking, that Shabdo going to going to indicate the object I mean. Follow. Aprakita Shabdo is identical with the object I mean. I mean, if Madhavindu Purva is speaking, Ha Vrindavan, that means Vrindavan is present there. Similarly, Mahaprabhu wanted to give us a very unique idea that if you think only I can do Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, useless, it's just like material sound. Mahaprabhu is speaking not material sound. It is Aprakita Shabda Brahma. If you are elevated up to that point, if you are elevated up to that point, I mean, first of all, Trinadha, be everything, then be sure, by the grace, by the kripa of Shuddha Guru Vaishnava, you can get the capacity to do Harinam, perfect Harinam. And in Bhagavatam, already I told many times, the Asasanga, first of all, you will have to leave Asasanga because Satsanga and Asasanga cannot go together. Only, only with the association of Satsanga it is possible for us to do Ata Dusanga Musrijo, Ata Dusanga Musrijo Satsu Sajjeda Buddhima. Those who are really intelligent, Aprakita intelligent, Ata Krishna Namadi Na Bhavit Grajam Indri. By your material sense organ, we cannot see Krishna. We cannot understand the topics of Krishna from heart. All impossible. So, ata Krishna Amadi, ataha Krishna Amadi no bhavet grajya mindyue. All our sense organ, material sense organ cannot touch any aprakito bastu. Aprakito bastu kobhu prakito guchanoy. Not possible. In that case, Bhagavadji Mahaprabhu speaking, Ata Dusanga Masriya Satsu Sajjeda Buddhima. 
अत दुसंग मुसिज सस्सु सज्जेद बुद्धिमान बिकॉज विदाउट सत्संग वी कैन नट गो आउट सन्त एव अश्य अत दुसंग मुसिज सत्सु सज्जेद बुद्धिमान वाई सन्त एव अश्य छिन्दी मन व्यासंगम उक्ति उक्ति मीन प्रवचनादि भी बाय प्रवचन अप्राकृत शब्द ब्रह्म गुरु वैष्णव कैन स्पीक दो योर रिसीविंग पावर इज वेरी पुअर एट प्रेजेंट बट गो ऑन हियरिंग नो अदर वे दो योर रिसीविंग पावर इज वेरी वीक बट स्टिल गो ऑन हियरिंग समडे यू कैन कैच द शब्द ब्रह्म यू कैन फील दैट शब्द ब्रह्म हैज सम स्वरूप शब्द ब्रह्म हैज सम स्वरूप पीपल कैन से Maharaj is is uh, how we can believe that a sound has some sarup. I can come to this point. So first point you rem remember. Ato du sanga musijo sasu sajjeda buddhi ma santi vasa chindanti mana vyasanga mukti bhi. Mahaprabhu not passing any lecture all throughout his <coughs> all throughout his lila. Mahapu wanted to indicate us that you will have to do satsang. All the twenty-four hours, all the twenty-four hours, Mahapu, you uh, know, uh, have shown us this lila satsang. Sometimes not physically, but sometimes mean internally you can do fine form. Guru Pad Padma gone twenty-two years over. Twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four. So what? I can have the scope to do satsanga mentally from heart. I can do so. Satsanga is the must. Without satsanga, if you give some gapping, if you give some gapping in in you know in satsanga, within within that gapping, within that gapping, Maya Devi illusion can enter. If you give some gapping, little gapping. Within that gapping, Maya Devi can enter and make you fall down. It's a big problem. So now point is that, just you will have to hear Hari Katha from the lotus mouth. My Mahaprabhu also used to hear Hari Katha for Raya Ramanandu. Mahaprabhu used to hear do Sankirtan all the way, whole lila. You can see Mahaprabhu used to do Sankirtan. All devotees doing. So a practice of Sankirtan can. Help me to cut bondage. At the same time, I can reach a prakita jagat to get eternal seva there. Now I can express doubt. How I can believe that sound? Sound has some sarup. Everybody can say we we hear. Shabda has some sarup. Material shabda, even material shabda has some sarup. Even material shabda, if you even material shabda has some sorrow. Follow. If material shabda has no, if material shabda is no 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 sorrow sorrow material shabda, then how you are going to get cardiograph? Cardiograph how you are getting? Cardiograph means graph. Your heart beat in graph. That's mean sound has some sorrow. Follow. Pre on those days also at present. Previous days you can get one plate. There all gramophone. There one pin is there. It is to go through that pin and on through this track. And you can again you can put the pin in the original place. You can hear the same sound while you heard before. So this is also cassette or you know recorder or. In a, you can say, plate, you know, fiesta, previously gramophone, all this the system. So material sound surely have some saru. If material sound no saru, then why? How we are going to get this kind of? So a prakito shabda surely have saru. If prakito shabda material sound have some saru, then how we can disbelieve? In material sound as some saru, so aprakito sabdo, aprakito sabdo also has some saru. That's why 
In Vedanta Sutta, we can find one sloka. In Vedanta Sutta, yesterday I was discussing so many Vedanta Sutra. Today I must in indicate one Vedanta Sutta that is called Ikshater no Ashabdhyam. Ikshater no Ashabdhyam. Ikshater no Ashabdhyam. What do you mean by? Ikshan means to look. Ikshan means to look something. So, in Vedanta it is written, don't try to see material sound. Don't try to see material sound. Material sound, you know. Material sound has some sarup. And also, you can, he you can hear over telephone. You can hear over telephone, you can hear something material. And you can have some idea about that, naturally, no? So, Ikshaterna Sabda mean, it is Vedanta Sutta going to advise us, always try to see a Prakita Sabda Brahma. Always try to see a Prakita Sabda Brahma. So, what do you mean by this? Always try to see a Prakita Sabda Brahma. So, a Prakita Sabda Brahma mean, a Prakita Sabda Brahma mean, whatever a Prakita Sabda Brahma has some sorrow. In eternal the, like Vindavan, Mathura, whatever I see, Govardhan, Jamuna, Aprakita Shabdo, if I pronounce, has some eternal sarup in, in this Aprakita Jagat. In Aprakita Jagat, surely there is eternal sarup you can get. So Aprakita Shabdo Brahma, you can try to see Aprakita Shabdo Brahma. If you are failure to see Aprakita Shabdo Brahma, in that case, all big problem can be there. You cannot. Harikatha you are seeing because Prabhupada many times told, Prabhupada many times told, and there is article, so many articles, Siddhar Goswami, Bhakti Purusha Sri Maharaj, Prabhupada writing, to meet with, to meet with Sabda Brahma means to meet with Bhagavan. That's why one article I can show you, so many articles, not one article, that hearing Harikatha, it is written that by hearing Harikatha from the lotus mouth of Shuddha Guru Vaishnava is the same, is the same meeting with Bhagavan. Name of the article. Follow. Hearing Harikatha, Hearing Harikatha from the lotus mouth of the pure Guru Vaishnava is the same meeting with Bhagavan. Same thing Prabhupada also told. Prabhupada also in Upadeshamrita told na, to speak Harinam, to, to, to chant Harinam and to meet with Bhagavan is same. To chant Harinam and to meet with Bhagavan all the same. Told Bhagavan. Chait, you know, Prabhupada told to chant Hari, Harinam and to meet with Bhagavan all the same. This way we will have to keep strong faith in it. So, first Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to give us the indication that Aprakita Sabda Brahma Anushilan by practicing you can gradually cut all material bondage and go up to up to that limit. You can. So you see. So Haridas Thakur regarding this Harinam and Aprakita Sabda Brahma, I like to touch this point is very vital point. Sima Haridas Thakur, Namacharya Haridas Thakur. He is a Namacharya Haridas Thakur. Namacharya Haridas Thakur and Simon Mahaprabhu discussing with each other. Mahaprabhu asking question and Haridas Thakur giving answer. Regarding Harinam, etc. So Mahaprabhu asking that how this, you know, Stavar Jangam. Jangam means, Stavar means cannot move. All the hills, all trees, they cannot move. They are stubborn. And Jangam means all different creatures, including human beings also. Or they are moving around. 
So Mahaprabhu putting question in front of Haridas. Haridas, how they can get benefit? How they can get benefit? Then Mahaprabhu, uh, you know, Haridas Chakur speaking, Prabhu, you are speaking Harinam na loudly. When you are speaking Harinam loudly, all your aprakita sabdo, sabdo, frequency, vibration, going to different places. Same formula, those scientists, they, want, they wanted to catch it. Same formula. What Haridas Thakur told, you can say that time there was no, you know, there was no technology. But Haridas Thakur, how it was possible for Haridas Thakur to speak? One Shabdo of Prakita Shabdo Mahaprabhu speaking, and the Shabdo, this vibration going all around. Even if you are in America, you can catch. You can catch, you know? So this way, Shabdo Brahmo, Mahaprabhu, Haridas Thakur speaking, when you are chanting Harinam loudly, the Shabdo is going to touch hills and, you know, you know, these trees. Then by this, you know, a Prakita Shabda Brahma, they are catching, they can get delivered. And those Muslim people, they are not going to hear Harinam, not don't, don't like to hear and speak Harinam. Then Haridas Thakur speaking, don't worry Prabhu. When they are speaking Haram, they are not speaking Ram or Krishna. They never speak. But anyway, when they are going to speak about Haram, they are one, there is one word they are speaking usually. Ha Ram. Though they are not going to speak about Ramchandra or Baloram. But still, we know Shankitam Parihasham Stovam Heloname Baba. Vaikuntha Nam Grahanam Asesha Aga Haranam Vidu. Shankitam Ba Parihasham. Anyhow, if somebody is joking mood, with joking mood or without any full attention, nothing, Sanketram, some indication, with this indication there, Sanketram, Parihasham, Stobam, Helanam Evoba. Vaikuntha Nam Agahanam, Asesu Aga, Harinam, Haranam Vidu. Vaikuntha Nam can clean all your heart. So, those Muslim people, when they are speaking Haram, they are not going to speak actually Ram, Ram Nam. They are not going to speak Ram Nam purposely. But still, this Ram Nam is going to help them to cut with all sinful activities. Though they are not purposely doing Harinam, Ram Nam, but still, knowingly or unknowingly, when you are doing Ram Nam or Krishna Nam, then it can help you. Anyway, it can help you. So, Mahaprabhu and Haridas Thakur exchanging view this way. This way we can deliver whole world by Harinam Sankirtan. Provided we have acharan, perfect acharan, this way we can discuss. So, you see, Siman Mahaprabhu wanted to do Harinam. Actually, Mahaprabhu when took birth here, right from the beginning, when Mahaprabhu took birth here in Mayapuddham, from then onward he started doing Harinam Sankirtan. From the beginning, when the child, I told you, you know, when the child crying, then all, you know, Matajis, they are speaking Hare Krishna, they are going to stop. And when Mahaprabhu took birth, Gaur, Purni, Gaur Purnima, that time Bindavan Dasyakur Mahasaya writing, J. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu coming with Nam Sankirtan. Mahaprabhu appear with Nam Sankirtan. Though just small boy, peak still the influence is same. Though Mahaprabhu Bhagavan going to express this kind of Leela, small boy, but the influence is same. He is Bhagavan, na? Purna Brahma. So, by the influence of Gauranga Mahaprabhu and his appearance, all Material people, even material people, all around this Navadip, they hear it. They all started doing Harinam. They don't know the reason for why. They don't know the reason for why they like to speak Harinam. But anyway, knowingly, they are doing Harinam and they are going to take bath in Ganga. With this, with this, 
it is written that with Sankirtan, Nam Sankirtan, Mahaprabhu appeared. And gradually after doing different kind of Leela, Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu started expressing his own actual reason for why he came here. That is most ex exclusive actually. That is <coughs> when Mahaprabhu coming back. Previously, before going to Gaya, before going to Gaya, Mahaprabhu doing different kind of Leela. Different kind of Leela here. But after coming back from, after coming back from Gaya Dham, I mean, I mean after taking shelter unto the lotus feet of Ishar Puripad, Mahaprabhu expressing completely different kind of mood. When Mahaprabhu coming back, then always expressing a mood of separation. Always and every time Mahaprabhu expressing one mood of separation. Previously, Nam Sankirtan there in, in Siva Sangan, Sankirtan Ras. Mahaprabhu started Sankirtan Ras there inside Siva Sangan, one year continuously. And after coming back from Gaya, Mahaprabhu started expressing Vipralamba Bhava. Though we know material feeling of separation, day by day I can start discussing about Helad Dunitu Kip, I know, Helad Dunitu Ejo is a slok that is there, that is also we can discuss. So, material separation is dangerous. Material separation is really dangerous. Material separation <coughs> mean material separation mean we are going to we are going to jump into Maya. Material separation means we can feel separation from wife, wife gone from this material world, father gone, mother gone, lady love gone, this kind of material, son gone, daughter gone. So material Material separation can put us into the ocean of miseries. We can go deep into the ocean of miseries. We can fall down. Material separation cannot help us. Material separation means it's one kind of illusion, mohu, infatuation. If I am feeling. Suppose my money loss, I, my father gone, mother gone, all material separation. Or material separation. But a prakito separation, what is called biraha. A prakito separation, what is called? What is called biraha. So a prakito, this biraha, biraha feeling is the only thing by the help of which we can cut all material bondage. Biraha, Biraha can help you to cut material bondage. If you discuss all in details, then you can realize. Biraha, Prakita Biraha from Guru Vaishnava, a Prakita Biraha from Bhagavan, all. A Prakita Biraha can help us, a Prakita Biraha can always help us to cut all material bondage. Aprakita Viraha can develop our Vairagya. Follow. That's why Sarvam Hattacharya wrote Vairagya Vidya Niyo Bhakti Yoga Shikshartha Mekam Purusha Purana. Vairagya Vidya. When you are going to feel separation of Prakita Viraha, in that case, automatically you can get free from material attachment. Automatically. When you are going to feel a prakita viraha, that viraha can help you to cut all material bondage. You cannot feel. Even in material world we can see, if the small boy is going to die, then the mother crying like mad. She is crying like mad. If you like to speak, if you like to give some sweet ball or something to that Mataji, when just that boy is gone, she can feel just like poison. She don't like to hear anything. So in material world, separation from your son, 
father, mother, all can put you in trouble. But aprakito viraha, what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us. That is the excellent kipa. Mahaprabhu wanted to show us excellent kipa through this point. That until and unless you are going to feel a separation from Guru, Vaishnava, Bhagavan, then until and unless you are going to feel, you cannot go out. You cannot. So, in Raya Ramananda, Sangba, you can find Mahaprabhu asking to Raya Ramananda, Biraha Madde Kon Biraha Hai Guru Taro. Biraha Madde among all and all Biraha, which Biraha is a very, very painful. Biraha Madde Kon Biraha Hai Guru Taro. Raya Ramananda is giving answer. That Vaishnav Biraha. Vaishnav Biraha, when Guru Vaishnav going away from this material world, Vaishnav Biraha Bina Biraha Nahi Aro. Vaishnav Biraha is the topmost you know, thing. Without Vaishnav Biraha, without Vaishnav Biraha, you know, without Vaishnav Biraha, all other Biraha is not positive. It's all negative Biraha, which can throw us in the ocean of miseries. So, first of all, you see, Mahaprabhu coming from this Gayadham. After coming from that Gaurad, Gayadham, continuously Mahaprabhu, day by day, expressing tremendous feeling of separation. So, somebody thinking some, maybe it is some disease, they are applying, applying medicine here, giving water, Bucket after bucket, but no solution. So gradually Mahaprabhu wanted to express this kind of viraha feeling and to teach us. Very important point, with Vishnu Priya Devi, Siman Mahaprabhu wanted to discuss something specially, very secretly. Outside people, they don't know. Someday Vishnu Priya Devi heard that Prabhu going to leave home. That time Vishnupriya Devi was there at his father's house. There, father's house, there. Whenever Vishnupriya Devi heard something about this, immediately she is running and to home. And is going to ask to Mahaprabhu, <coughs> Prabhu, I heard you are going to leave home? Asking. Mahaprabhu not giving answer properly. But later on, Mahaprabhu was bound to give answer. Later on, Mahaprabhu was bound to give answer. Mahaprabhu speaking, if you and me, if you and me jointly not going to sacrifice, Mahaprabhu speaking to Vishnupiya secretly, inside room, that if you and me both not going to sacrifice for the whole world, then I cannot save. I cannot save this material world. Because you know, all material people, some of them like to beat Mahaprabhu. You know? You know? The reason for why Mahaprabhu took sannyas, why? Some group in Navadip, they wanted to beat Mahaprabhu. Follow. Somebody wanted to express some doubt about his Baba. All. They are expressing jealousy. You see, like the, like the son of king. They used to speak this way. His, his efficacy is, you know, so style, they used to express doubt. So, Mahaprabhu finally started speaking to Sivas Pandit that I came here to give relief. I came here in this material world to find some solution for these people. But I wanted to give some medicine. I will give them, give them treatment. But the disease increasing. In Chaitanya Charitamrita is written. I wanted to give them relief from this disease, but just opposite happening. They are day by day by day, they are just increasing their disease, and I find no solution. What to do? So, Mahaprabhu was bound to discuss with Sachima also with Sachima also, because it was a standing 
commitment of Gorang Mahapu, whatever I am going to do, without speaking to you, I cannot do. Without speaking to you, I cannot do. So, Mahapu was very clever. How Mahaprabhu took how Mahaprabhu took permission from Sochi Mata to take sannyas. Very clever, Mahaprabhu. And Vishnu Piya Devi also, Mahaprabhu wanted to request Vishnu Piya Devi, if you are not going to cooperate with me, if you and me both are not going to sacrifice, then I cannot save this material world. If I take sannyas, then people, those who are expressing jealousy with me, those who think I am, those who are going to think me as enemy, so when I can take sannyas, going to leave all uh, wife, home, Mataji, uh, my mother, everything, then they can start crying for me. They can feel something. Otherwise, there is no way. If I am going to leave home, they can discover, I am going to leave everything, all my affluences here, all so much, you know, because the position of Mahaprabhu was very high there in the society. Everything, young wife, mother, everything I am going to leave and taking sannyas. And as a beggar, I can go door to door everywhere to beg Harinam. Harinam? Mahaprabhu told. That's why Mahaprabhu wanted to discuss with Vishnu Piyadevi. And finally, the day Mahaprabhu wanted to leave, finally. In the morning time, that day, by the help of Jogomaya, Mahaprabhu wanted to make such a situation that Vishnupiya Devi could not realize Mahaprabhu gone, Prabhu gone. Mahaprabhu gone, could not realize. So Mahaprabhu just went out of room and gone to Nidaya. Nidaya, you know, Nidaya? This Nidaya Ghat, which is now actually under water. At present, Nidhaya Ghat means Rudradeep, what is called Rudradeep, that Ghat, everything all gone underwater because Ganga is changing track day by day. So finally, Mahaprabhu going to that Nidhaya Ghat, the name of the Ghat was Nidhaya. Nidhaya means heartless. Nidhaya means heartless. Mahaprabhu wanted to exp express so strong attitude. Mahaprabhu wanted to show very strong attitude. So Mahaprabhu jumped into Ganga, no boat, nothing. Very early in the morning, Mahaprabhu jumped into Ganga and cross, cross the river Ganga and go that side and start with wet cloth. Mahaprabhu started running towards, towards Katwa, there. And after reaching Katwa, actually Mahaprabhu wanted to take sannyas from, from whom? From whom? Mahaprabhu took sannyas from whom? Isha Puribhad. Isha Puribhad. Kesha Puribhad. Kesha. Kesha Bharati. From Kesha Bharati. Kesha Bharati told, I cannot give sannyas to you. But Mahaprabhu saying, you promise me, you can give me. Kesha Bharati said, I cannot give. Because if I am giving sannyas, then I am responsible for your young wife there at home, mother. I can get some cards. I cannot give. Long history there. So, there was a long history actually. All local people gathered there. Mahapu took bar and the, and the barbar, you know, barbar wanted to save that barbar. That also, he was not ready to, that barber, he was also not ready to, after watching the, you know, beautiful hair of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was also not ready. Finally, by Jogumaya, Mahaprabhu, everything is possible for Mahaprabhu. By the help of Jogumaya, it was possible for Mahaprabhu to take permission from Kesha Bharati and the barber, he was also. And by that time, whole day gone, almost whole day. From the morning time, this is big disturbance. From the morning time, from the morning time, there is a pathetic situation all around. All villagemen coming, they are going to, they are going to give threat. 
they are going to give threatening to Kesav Bharati. Don't give sannyas to this young boy. They are giving. You are, if you give sannyas, we can, we can attack you. That was the situation. Finally, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu put it, you know, by Jogumaya, by the help of Jogumaya, Mahaprabhu took permission and took sannyas. And the reason for why Mahaprabhu took sannyas, that we'll have to discuss. Mahaprabhu, after Nityananda Prabhu was also there, Nityananda Prabhu and Mukundo was also there, Mukundo. Nityananda Prabhu was there, Mukundo was also there, and also Chandrasekhar Acharya. Chandrasekhar Acharya, you know? Chandrasekhar Acharya was also there. Chandrasekhar Acharya was also there. Everybody, they are crying. But Chandrasekhar Acharya was just like a statue. He cannot understand what to do, what not to do. He cannot understand. Because Sachimata, Sachimata told to Chandrasekhar Acharya, you can go there and arrest arrest my Nimai and bring to me. That's why nothing to do. Chandrasekhar Acharya now like a, like, a, like a doll, cannot do anything. So this way Mahaprabhu anyhow took sannyas and the samadhi and the samadhi of that here is also there. Right there. After taking sannyas, Mahaprabhu started running towards Vrindavan. After taking sannyas, Mahaprabhu started running towards Vrindavan and the secret reason the secret reason behind this sannyas brato, Mahaprabhu already told, Mahaprabhu already told, you can find in Chaitanya Shurtamitra, that Prem is my own property. Prem is my own property. Prem is my own property. Kikaj sannyase more prem apandhan. Kikaj, what is the what is the utility of my taking sannyas? Ki kaj sannyase mor prem apandhan. Prem is my own property, Mahaprabhu told someday. Anyway, by taking sannyas, Mahaprabhu started moving towards Vrindavan. Somehow, Nithyananda Prabhu wanted to cheat him. It is possible, Mahaprabhu Nithyananda, because Nithyananda Prabhu and Gauranga are non different from each other. So it was only possible for Nityananda Prabhu to divert, to divert his track. Mood cannot change. Nityananda Prabhu was not successful to change the mood. Track, I mean toward, running towards Vindavan. Somehow Nityananda Prabhu playing some trick, I wanted to, you know, give a turn. So that, because all small boys, Nithyananda was speaking, you can speak Hari Bol, Hari Bol. The small boys, coward boys. Then Mahaprabhu Maha running, the small boys speaking Hari, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. Then Mahaprabhu asking, Vrindavan which way? Vrindavan which way? Then Mahaprabhu already taught them, when Mahaprabhu, Nithyananda taught them, Oh boys, if Mahaprabhu asking Vrindavan which way, you can show this way, just opposite way. So opposite way, when Mahaprabhu was asking Vrindavan which way, how long, how far, then all small boys speaking, you can go this way. Then Mahaprabhu just opposite coming there, coming and finally going to reach Santipur, finally going to reach Santipur and there discover Gauranga, I mean Advaita Gosai standing there with a fresh cloth, everything, wanted to take bath in Jamuna. Because Mahaprabhu asking to Nithyananda, where is, where is Vrindavan? But this Vrindavan. And Jamuna, but this Jamuna. Jamuna. Then Mahaprabhu took bath in Ganga. In the meantime, Advaita Gosai coming with fresh cloth and one boat. And after that, Mahaprabhu could realize that Nithyananda wanted to cheat me, could not go. Anyway, so to do, to bestow kipa on all devotees, including mother. Vishnu Devi was not allowed. Nithyananda Prabhu give responsibility. Nithyananda Prabhu giving responsibility. You immediately go and bring. 
Sachima and all devotees. They are coming to San, uh, to Santipur Adwaita part. There Mahaprabhu started expressing exclusive kipa to everybody. Exclusive kipa to everybody. Because even those who are demon, demonic character, those people also, when hard, they started running towards Santipur. They started running towards Santipur. They also wanted to get kipa from Mahaprabhu. So this avatar, Mahaprabhu was successful to change the heart of even demonic character people was successful to it. Anyway, so there for seven, ten days, Mahaprabhu, by the desire of Advaita Gosai, seven, ten days Mahaprabhu started doing Sankirtan and manifesting Kipa to everybody, all, massive Kipa to everybody. Started doing some Nam Sankirtan everything. Now, Popa speaking, Popa speaking, until and unless we are going to feel useless, you are going to beg for keep up, you are going to beg for keep up from somebody when you are thinking that your all effort is over, you are very weak, you are useless. In that case, you can take shelter of somebody else. Papa speaking, if you are not going to feel weak, if you are not going to feel that you are useless, you are, a, you are in problem, you cannot solve this problem by your personal effort. Till then, you are not going to seek the help of others. Surely you are not going to seek the help of others. You can seek help from somebody when you can discover your position is useless. So, when we are going to beg for Kipa from Mahaprabhu, when? When we are going to beg for Kipa from Mahaprabhu or the Parshad of Mahaprabhu, Prabhupada, Bhakti Thakur or Guru Varu, when? When we can think our material life is useless or we cannot come out successful, it's not possible. Not possible. This material life, what we can do? After some day, death is inevitable. We will have to leave this body. And what we can get? Next life, what we can get? No certainty. So, first of all, you will have to discover your painful situation. First of all, you will have to discover your painful situation, helpless situation. Then and only then you can, suppose you are very poor. You cannot do anything. So you can, you can seek some help from rich man. You can give me some money. I can start some, something in a business. If you are feeling that you have poor knowledge, then you can approach one Pandit. He can give me knowledge. I seek. Huh? If you have shortage of knowledge, then you can seek. This way, if you are going to feel that you are weak, your personal effort is useless, then and only then you can seek help from other. Maybe the topics is different. If there is financial shortage, no way out, you can seek, beg some money from somebody. This way, you will have to, you know, to take the help of others. So, when you can seek the help of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, because it's anyway, directly you cannot seek the help of... Directly we cannot get keep up. Directly we cannot get keep up, Mahaprabhu. Directly nobody in Sastra it is written, in Sastra it is written, Papa speaking, that directly you cannot get the keep up Bhagavan. Directly it is not possible for us to get the keep up Bhagavan. You will have to get keep up Bhagavan indirect way, indirect way through Guru Vishnu. Through Guru Vaishnava, only through Guru Vaishnava we can get the help of. Only through Guru Vaishnava we can get the kipa of Bhagavan. Only through Guru Vaishnava we can get the kipa of Bhagavan, not directly. So, different people, different people can seek help according to their situation. 
different people can seek help from different source according to their situation. I can give one example. Hello Dunito Ejo Hello Dunito Daya Ked Kedvaya Bishodaya Prot Milo Damo Daya Chamma Shastra Vibodaya Rasodaya Follow this sloka. So this kind of doya was there in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I can give one example. Some uh, devotee in Mindapur, so many examples I can give. In Mindapur Mart, because doya, mercy, shown by any material person, doya, I mean mercy, shown by any material person has some limit. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Daya is Bhuyadamando Daya. Any kind of Daya, somebody is showing to me, mercy is showing to me, I can prove that maybe somebody is going to show some mercy on me, but out of that mercy, some Amangal can come. Don't understand. Helo Dunito Khe Daya, Viso Daya, Prat Milo Damu Daya, Chamma Shastra Vibho Daya, Raso Daya, Chittar Pitan Ma Daya, Follow, Shashat Bhakti Vino Daya, Shamo Daya, Madhurja Marja Daya, Si Chaitanya Daya Nidhe, Tava Daya, Bhuyada Manda Daya. Actually, Sarup Gosai is the eternal person of Gaurang Mahapur. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas and gone out of, you know, range, gone from Navadhyaya, then Sarup Gosai could not bear this separation. Immediately he leave home, he was bound to leave home, and gone to Baranasi like crazy man, and took sannyas there, but he didn't take danda, only he took mantra, and after that, there, his name was Sarup. His nam, name was Sarup. Sarup Gosai. Sarup. Gosami actually Vaishnav title. So, when finally Sarup Gosai going to come back from Varanasi. First of all, Sarup Gosai going to Varanasi. Fanatic way, like crazy man. He is blind without Mahaprabhu. Could not think anything. Gone to Varanasi. So Baranasi, like a madman, took sannyasi everything. After that, he was thinking over and again how to reach Mahaprabhu. Finally, he got information. Mahaprabhu now in Purushottam Dham. Mahaprabhu now in Purushottam Dham. So, in Purushottam Dham, Sarvagusa is coming from Baranasi. From Baranasi, Sarvagusa is coming. And the first, because Sarvagusa was there, in Navadip Dham, is the eternal person of Gorang Mahapu. But after san taking sannyas, after taking sannyas, that was the first meeting. I mean, after Mahapu took sannyas, that was their first meeting. So, Sarup Gosai coming from Baranasi and going to meet with, meet with who? Meet with Mahaprabhu in Gambhira Mandir and going to pay prostrate Dandavat. And speaking this this sloka, Hello Dunito Khe Daya, Visho Daya, Prat Milo Damo Daya, Shamma Shastra Vipo Vibo Daya, Raso Daya, Chittar Pitan Ma Daya, Shashat Bhakti Vino Daya, Shamo Daya, Madhurja Marja Daya, Si Chaitanya Daya Nidhe, Tava Daya, Bhuyada Manda Daya. Is a, you are the infinity ocean. Oh Prabhu, Prabhu, you are the infinity ocean of Daya. You are the infinity ocean of Daya. Because this kind of Daya was never shown by any king, any spiritual personality, nobody, no Acharya, never. This kind of Kipa was there. I mean, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there, even, even we can speak about Madhya Charjo, we can speak about Ramanuja Charjo, Vishnu Swami, Nimbarka Charjo, nobody wanted to show. This kind of kipa is rare. This kind of kipa is never shown by anybody. In the history, 
in the history of human being, so long as this earth is there, in the history of this human being, in the history of this human being, there was this kind of kipa was not there. Never. This kind of kipa was not there. Rare, most rare. Most rare. I can discuss the avatar of Gaurang Mahapu rare. I can discuss tomorrow. You can see all avatar. Eh? Are Gaurang Mahapu when coming? Krishna when coming? This Gaur avatar, golden avatar is very, very rare. So now I like to give example, like to explain some this sloka. Sarup Gosai crying and speaking. Day by day I can prove that Sarup Gosai, what Sarup Gosai told, it is 100% perfect. Sarup Gosai wanted to, wanted, to, wanted to pray Dandavat Pranam with this, with this prayer. Pray Dandavat with this prayer. Helo dunito khedaya vishodaya. So, to Sarup Gosai speaking to Mahaprabhu, you are the infinity ocean of Daya. Morning time I was speaking. If there is Karuna, Karuna is mercy. Mercy, na? If there is no mercy, mercy, how you can realize mercy? Mercy is such a quality. If mercy is there inside heart, your heart, by looking at somebody, his painful, painful situation, you can feel some necessary to help him. So, Daya is the second stage. Try to understand. Karuna is the first stage. If there is no Karuna, I mean, first of all, by watching you, your painful situation, my heart can melt. Paul, by watching your painful situation, first of all, my heart can melt. <coughs> then I can feel it necessary to extend my helpful hand to you. Follow what I said. <clears throat> so first of all, Karuna. Karuna can drive you. Karuna can guide you up to Daya. Daya means the practical effort to do something for you. And Karuna, Karuna is there inside heart. You cannot see in practical form, applied form, you cannot see. Karuna is there inside heart. Karuna is there inside heart. So your heart is melted. You are going to feel pain for that. So it's called Karuna. And if there is Karuna, then you can feel it necessary to do something for the man who is suffering. It's called Daya. So, Swarup Gosai wanted to say, your Daya is so endless Daya that in the history of human being, this kind of Daya was not there. Any kind of daya, donation or daya, whatever you can find in the material world, all limited, has some limit. Like we can find in history, we can find in history, King Harshavadhan, one king was there, as a big donor. He used to go to do give donation to everybody. Even after donation, even his own cloth is not there. We read. We already, when I was in, everybody in here, they, they know about King Harshavadhan. His donation used to give donation. Follow. So, this way, you can, uh, in uh, our Mahabharata also, Mahabharata also you can, uh, what is the name of that king? Uh, uh, that, you know, that king who used to give everything, I forget. Always I am speaking. Uh, always I am speaking that name. Anyway, I can remember that king going to Harishchandra. Harishchandra give, give, give donation. All giving in donation, everything, everything, donation. And that king, I told you, his name is. Uh, uh, Jarabharat and uh, Jarabharat left everything. Another king, as we know, another king, I speak, he also left everything. He left everything. All, nothing, not even clothes. 
all given. This kind of donation we can find. Follow. This kind of donation we can hear. And Harshavaddhan, Harshavaddhan you heard, Ashok, King Ashok also. Finally, when he could realize that my, uh, my, this kind of, this kind of fighting, because Ashok wanted to fight. Thousands of people killed. By watching the blood flowing through river, he then took resolution, I cannot kill any man anymore. I cannot kill any man anymore. From then onward, he took Buddha Dharma. Anyway, I am less interested about it. Anyway, they all different kind of donation uh, you can hear in history. But Sarugosa is speaking, your donation is unique donation, unparalleled, unbeaten. This donation can never be compared with anybody. Because, because your donation, because Sarup Gosai speaking, your Sarup, your Kipa, your Daya, going to solve all problem. All solve, all problem. Like Pandit, like you know, four authentic Sampadaya you find, four authentic Sampadaya, Ramanu Sampadaya, Ramanu Charjo, Ramanu Sampadaya, Mati Charjo, all four Sampadaya. But all Sampadaya, four Sampadaya, they have some separate point of view. Almost same, but they have some speciality. In Vedanta, there is deep discussion. Like Ramanujajya wanted to wanted to write something which was not approved by Madhacharya. Ramanujajya wrote something which was not approved by Jiva Goswami Path. Follow. Ramanujajya wanted to say, Brahma, Brahma. Shagata Bhed. Shagata Mane, in Brahma itself, different kind of, you know, diversity itself. Di different kind of discussion can come anyway. So, Shagata Bhed. And uh, our Jiva Goswami was speaking something else. But more or less same. But finally, when Mahaprabhu wanted to give us excellent Kipa, day by day we can discuss about this Achinta Vedavat Tattva. Today I am not going to discuss about tomorrow maybe, but or day after tomorrow. Achinta Vedavet Tanta. Only by the help of this Achinta Vedavet Tanta, I mean, or each and every, you can remember I discussed now, some days before I was discussing about Amna Yo Praha Tatyam, Amna Yo Praha Tatyam Harimiho, Sarva Saktim Rasadhim. Tat binang shangsha jivano ka prakriti ka valitano tat binang shabhavat veda vedo sakalamopi harihe swadhanam suddha bhaktim. I already told. According to that, you can find Madhacharya and Gauri Sampada almost the same, no different. But Veda Ved Siddhanto Madhacharya, but Achinto, this word was specially used by Mahaprabhu. And Jibu Goswami wanted to represent the Achinta Vedavet Tattva. Man, each and everything simultaneously different and non different. Each and everything which is visible, which is not visible. Which is visible, not visible. All infinite world, whatever thing. All, all simultaneously different and non different from Siman Mahaprabhu. The name of this Tattva is Achinta Vedavet Tattva. So I am not going to discuss Achintamin, inconceivable. Uh, also, this inconceivable, this word is also not perfect. This word is also not perfect. Perfectly, you can realize the tattva when prema is there. When your heart is already melt by prema, then you can practically realize the tattva, Achinta Vedavat tattva. Not only Samuel is different, and you can speak. To make you understand, but still it is not so inconceivable, okay. But beyond this conception, beyond our material limit, beyond our beyond our material limit, there is one kingdom where the language of love is applicable. Follow. Beyond our 
this material world, there is such a world where the code language of love is applicable. Why tiger going to hear the language of Mahaprabhu? Why? Why the mad elephant going to hear the language of Mahaprabhu? Why? Why? How possible? Because there is one word which is called, which is where there the code language, code language of love is applicable. Even you need not speak. Even you need not speak without speaking. Without speaking, you can realize love is such a thing. When material limit is over, material limit is over, the power of the material world is all over, then the area of love can start, which I cannot speak inconceivable. This world is also not perfect. So beyond this material limit, there is one platform, one kingdom, where only the language of, code language of love is applicable. Only. Follow. This way you can see uh, Madhacharya, Ramanujaj, all. They have some special point of view. More or less all same. More or less basic Siddhanta all same. But still, they have some special point of view. Madhacharya is speaking something special. Ramanujaj is speaking. Somebody is speaking Vedavet Tattva, somebody is speaking, you know, something, Opadik, Bhaskara is speaking Opadik. Opadik means it's like title, Opadik. So, this way there is some difference of their view, but when Chaitanya Mahapu wanted to show, through his behavior, through his character, through his behavior, everything, then all problem was solved. That one by one, I can try to prove. The Sarup Gosai wanted to say, all the fighting, all the fighting among different groups, all the fighting among different groups, those are having some, their special standpoint, they are going to solve by the help of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. All solved. All fighting everything. This way, Mahaprabhu Saurabh Gosai wanted to say that your daya is such a thing, your daya is such excellent that by your daya all problem was solved. All problem, innumerous problem was solved by your daya. So, and at the same time, Saurabh Gosai specially told that by from your daya because in material world somebody can show daya to me in material world somebody can show daya to me but that daya ultimately can yield poisonous result somebody can help me but this kind of help can give poisonous result in future hello father gone Mother very poor. So, uncle going to help that young boy, young boy, to marry some lady. The marriage, why? To find some solution, na? Why you marry? To find some solution in your life. But finally what happens? That problem going to reach the peak point. I can give one example. Like, in Midnapur, one example is more than sufficient, I think. In Midnapur, in Midnapur temple, there were so many Harikatha. Previously, at present, no. At present, I'm not going. In Midnapur, Mat, Samananda Gauri Mat. There, I heard that one young devotee, long ago, at the time of that, our Guru Varga, Shanto Maharaj, Madhav Goswami Maharaj, they all together, judge, Jajavar Maharaj, they all jointly, they jointly established that mount. Jointly. Anyway, so one young man, he is educated man, graduate. He used to come daily in the morning time. And in Krishnagar more also, I have seen one poor man, poor, poor so-called devotee. He used to come and clean the whole mart. Morning time he can come, watch Aruti and Whole mart is going to clean. 
whole mud with water, everything. After cleaning, used to go daily. Similarly, one so called devotee in, you know, in Vindapurma, Samananda Gorimar, it was his seva. Every day he used to come, watch Aroti, pay Dandavattu Maharaj, evening time coming to hear Harikatha, cleaning temple, everything. Follow. But he was very poor. By tuition, tuition, you know, private tuition, you know, private tuition, is to earn some money. And widow, mother is widow. I mean, father gone much before, long before. So finally, he was uh, in problem. But anyway, Sannyasi, Brahmachari, they used to give kippah to him. They are very happy with him by seva. Someday, his uncle is a rich man. His uncle is a rich man, he is going to speak, you are not getting any service. You are, anyway, you are not going to get any service, so what to do? I can give you some money. So you can start some you know, seva cultivation of beetle leaf. Beetle leaf, you know? Beetle leaf. Beetle leaf. Pan, pan, beetle leaf. So you can do, you have some agricultural land, a piece of land, a piece of land is there with you, so why not you, I can give some money. So he is giving some money. He giving some money, or oh, after me getting money, he is uh, started business. But his luck was so favor anyway, he was engaged in Bhagavad Sevana, cleaning temples so of Bhagavan was there. Anyway, Guru Vishnu Kipa was there, so his luck was favorable. So his business was very nice. So gradually his business is going to reach such a peak level that now he cannot make up his time to go and pay Dandava to deity there in Samananda Guri. What to speak about cleaning temple? No question of cleaning. How oh, no time now? Only to visit, I mean to pay Dandava to Bhagavan, no time. To meet with Maharaj, no time. So what to do? Maharaj going to meet him. Why you are not coming to temple anymore? Maharaj, what to do? I start my business, I am so busy. I am engaging my labor, this, that, so many things. After some day, when money coming, mother going to arrange marriage for that boy. Naturally, mother going to arrange marriage for that boy. So marriage for that boy, okay. Marriage for that boy. So marriage, okay. Marriage was over. After marriage, the boy become more busy. Because he has to give time for wife. I know one case. One world-class scientist, Nagesha Reddy. You heard the name? Is a world-class scientist about gastroenterologist. World-class scientist. He is going to America, France to give lecture in India, Hyderabad. Follow. So, how many crores of rupees he has? But he cannot find any utility of his money. Because no time to eat, no time to sleep, night time not sleeping. Only in the driving, when driver taking that time, he is taking rest. In home, no time. Finally, his wife is going to leave husband and gone. This is important, world class figure. By his wife going to leave husband and gone forever. Follow. So now, a, that, that man going to marry and uh, he has become very busy because he is, he is bound to obey some order of wife. After that, more and more busy. After that, he, uh, he can get one, uh, he got one baby. This way, his involvement, this way, all his involvement in Sansar. This way, his involvement in Sansar was so tight that he forget everything. So you see, now you understand. So the mercy is shown by uncle ultimately going to throw him away from this devotional field. Totally off. So you see, but material people can say, the uncle is very merciful. He wanted to give him money. Until uncle wanted to give money. So it was some kind of mercy shown. But that kind of mercy going to show ultimate result. I can speak another, another incident about Bhakti Vala Maharaj. 
when he was just student of Calcutta University. He took decision after MA to read you know, some legal. He wanted to become barrister. Barrister, he wanted to. Luckily, one day he discovered Gualpara, his, you know, his Gualpara. In course of his traveling through cycling or this, that, he discovered in one house there is a you know, saffron cloth in the roof. Saffron cloth, I mean the sannyas cloth. So he stopped cycle. He asking to the houseman, is some, some sannyasi coming here? Yes. Uh, where is? Well, you can get darshan in the evening time if you can come. I'm very much interested. So now sannyasi come. Today evening time there is Harikatha kids and you can come. Yes, I can come. He's coming. Coming and joining the Harikatha. And by looking at Madhubhusi Maharaj, he sold. Only by looking, no need of speaking Harikatha. <laughs> Only by looking at Madhukasi Maharaj, his heart was sold already. In the meantime, Keshap Prabhu, who is the disciple of Prabhupada, I mean the godbrother of Madhukasi Maharaj, he is discussing with this, you know, Madhuk uh, uh, Tithu Maharaj. That time his name was, uh, what I know, I know his name. I wrote book, already I forget. So that time he is discussing. Then our, you know, what you know, you know Keshav Prabhu speaking, you gone mad? Why, why, why? why? You going to read, you know, going to take, uh, uh, you know, admission in, you know, uh, barrister education, you know, barrister, you know, you know this, you know the result. If you learn law, Every day you will have to come in front of material people. They can speak. He is going to murder somebody. He she is going to cheat his husband, her husband. This way, all different kind of dirty case can come in front of you. You like it? All painful. You can sit in the chair as barrister. Government can give you, you know, money so much. But what is the consequent? Try to realize. If you become barrister, oh, you, every whole society can give you honor. But what? Life is going now. Finally, you can feel disturbance. Different kind of dirty case can come, murder case, rape case, or different kind of case can come, and you will have to find solution. Is it good? Or you can, you can stay in front of that Mahapurush, Madhav Goswami Maharaj, and hear Harikatha Kirtan, which, whichever is feasible for you which you like. Then immediately Tita Maharaj took decision, I cannot read, I cannot take admission in barristry, legal. So, mercy, so up to the last moment, I mean last time he was sick, but before that, we heard from Tita Goswami Maharaj that the mercy shown by Keshav Prabhu. Keshav Prabhu wanted to make him understand. Kesabhu wanted to make him say, if you take this, what will be the result? You see, what you can see. Then he was bound. So the mercy shown by mercy shown by Kesaprabhu was not you know, dirty. Mercy shown by Kesaprabhu not going to yield any poison as a result. Whereas the mercy shown by material uncle of that man ultimately wanted to produce and wanted to produce poisonous result. So, Swarup Gosai was very good. Swarup Gosai was very perfect to see. Bhuyada Mandataya. Your mercy, when you are going to bestow mercy to somebody, that mercy not going to show some poisonous result in future. Further. So, Prabhu, what to do? We are grateful to you. Tomorrow I can discuss anyway today. Time cannot permit. So, first sloka by Prahlad Maharaj, you should not have a link with our Mahaprabhu told, na, Bani, same thing, Prahlad Maharaj speaking, same thing, na? Naitat mano me tab katha subai kunt nath Sampriyate durita dushta masaduti viram Kamaturam harsasoka vayashanartam Tasmin katham 
तब गति विमिषा दीन तस्म कथम तब गति विमिषा दीन वाचकुर्वश के पास पचितान पावन पवेशन फ्यू नम सो हेलो दुनि तो खेद है देन वन बाई वन आई कैन प्रूव दैट ऑल दोज वर मेटेरियल मैन पंडित हाउ दे वर बाउंड टू bound to throw all their own conception own biasness was bound to 